Well, hello there. Master Hellish here, and welcome to our Transport Fever 2 Series 2 Number 1 Let's Play. Now, the game apparently is playing sound, but I can't hear it. I think my headphones went to sleep. There we go. Fantastic, fantastic uh, soundtrack that is Transport Fever 2. Above the line says, I recently got a Transport Fever 2 Deluxe Edition for the Xbox, and you're enjoying playing it. Yeah, it's, it, it's a good game. It is a good game. Uh, Sammy, hello, welcome. Welcome to everybody else, including Party Piggy and Untraceable Smurf. I've just realised something, something that I'd forgotten. It's nothing major, but unfortunately, I'm going to have to be right back. I'll just be a minute. Um, I'll leave you with the, the the thing is, but what I want whilst I'm gone is ideas and suggestions for the type of scenario we're going to do in this series. So if you've got the game. Maybe you'll want to go and have a look at the options, or you can Google it and have a look at the different environments and maps and so forth. Uh, but get all your suggestions in chat, and I will be back in just, just over a minute. I won't be long. See you in a second. Nice clearance there, me hearty. <laughs> Shiving me timber is coming my way. <laughs> 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 that was embarrassing for both of us. <laughs> I dodged out the words. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on. Over Concentrate. Back, back. Concentrate. I'll make you I'll make you walk the plank. <laughs> what are you doing, Egg? Roll of fifth. Why? Oh, he's in it. Oh. The, the wheels are spinning. The, I they're, they're turning. Oh, 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 nearly. Yay, he did it. He did it. Hey, oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's an explosion. Oh, it's one of my favourite clips, that is, when DG Egg made stuff explode. Um, Graham says, don't know enough about the game yet. Uh, yes, you've only played Transport Fever 1. It's pretty much the same. Just a little bit better all round. Which is really what a two version of a game should be. I mean, if the number one version was fantastic, then the number two version should also be pretty much the same, but more and better. And that's what it is. It's just more and better. Um, right, before we crack on uh, with the gameplay, which you can see... We'll be starting in around three minutes' time. Uh, get yourself a cup of tea if you want to. This now's your opportunity. Or if you're not watching live, you can fast forward until the timer goes down to zero. Um, I, there will not be slightly sad news, everybody. There won't be a Transport Fever stream next week. Oh, I know. There's, there's not going to be... Uh, it's because uh, I'm moving things around a little bit next week because next week is the hellish weekend where I'm going to be meeting up with a few people. Um, it's just a small group of us, but we're going to go and have some fun together. So I, sh I did a shout out on social media and everything. Uh, we're going to Milton Keynes for the weekend um, and we're going to get together. It's going to be fun, probably. Yeah, it will be fun. It's going to be great fun. We've got some nice activities lined up. Um... So, yes, no Transport Fever 2 stream next week, but we will be having our Monday gaming with the Viewer Plus subscribers, and we will be having our Tuesday Open TTD. So there we go. You're going to load it up so you can play along? That's a cool idea. That is. I like that. Um, I'm going to go... Is it, It's not a campaign, is it? It's a free game, isn't it? Mankind is yeah, it's... No, no, we don't want to do a campaign. Free game. I've never touched the campaign. 
There we go. The game's ready for us to go. Um, right, have we got anything else to cover? So, this weekend is a normal weekend. You've got your Factorio. We're not doing the Open TTD videos at the minute, just the live streams. Uh, then next week, um, the weekend will be normal, but we won't be having the uh, sorry, the Thursday night live stream. Uh, we'll just be doing the Monday and Tuesday as normal. And then, the week after that, on the 20th, Sunday the 20th, we might be having an open TTD viewers game. So pop that one down in your diaries. Keep an eye out. I might... It's still tentative. So I might have to, like, announce it officially, but then we might have to roll back and say, oh dear, no, we'll have to do it another time. Excuse me. Um, I don't want to have to do that. Um, that's why I'm having problems committing to it. Because I don't know if it's going to go ahead 100%. So if I don't know if it's going to go ahead 100%, I don't know. I don't want to say it's going to happen and then turn around and say, oh, sorry, we can't do it. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure about the campaign, actually, above the line. That's, I'm not sure it's really um, appealing to me. We'll see. Can you post the map settings for it so we can load the same map? Uh, we can try. I mean, the, the seed and, and the map settings will be on, on stream. Maybe we can take a screenshot of that and put it in the Discord or something. Um, but yes, I will, um, I'll put the seed and information on, on screen. Uh, I think that's it, really. Uh, looking at this, so this weekend is a normal weekend. One stream less last week, uh, next week. Factorio videos are all recorded and ready to roll, so you'll still get them over the weekend. And then on the 20th, we might be having an open TTD game. I think that's everything. Cool. Well, let's get into the game then. Oh, I haven't got a scene set up. Oh, I have got a scene set up. It's just not where I left it. Hey, look at that. Oh, we've got the old chat on screen. We don't want that. Get rid of that. Where is it gone? Let's have a look. So we've got the stream widget, notifications. Do we want notifications and stream widget? I don't think we want notifications widget and the stream widget, do we? Let's turn that off. Because we only use the stream widget now. It's We, we upgraded. J Rich, welcome. So you can see here are the options. We can either go with a temperate environment, a dry environment, or a tropical environment. And you know what I'm going to say? I'm going to say, let's do a vote. Why not? We've got the system. Let's do it. Get yourself over to portal.masterhellish.net. Um, so this is going to be the climate. And I'm just going to, for quickness, I'm going to put T for temperate, D for dry, and T for tropical. Oh, no, that doesn't work. <laughs> TR for tropical and TE for temperate. Oh, you know what? I'm not going to be lazy. I'm going to type it out. Temper A T. Temperate. And then. And dry is only three words. God, how lazy can I be here? It's not lazy. It's it's difficult for me. Like words and things. I I, I can't I can't word. There we go. Right. Vote is up. If you're already on the portal, you may have to just refresh your page for that to show up. Shouting out dry in chat will do nothing, Brandon. Now, if I remember correctly, we want a massive map size. Now, that is small. It's got what appears to be like four towns on it. Medium. There we go. There's a medium one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight towns. I have a funny feeling last time we played on very large, and I don't see why we shouldn't. Let's have a look. That one, two, three, four. Yeah, that's more like it. That's more like it with the number of towns. Um, what did we do last time? Did we do tropical? I got a funny feeling we did tropical last series, didn't we? I mean, I ha I'm happy to do it again. Uh, if that's what the votes come out at. We can always do different things within the game. Map format one by one. That's fine. Number of towns high? Really? That high? What if you do number of towns low? Just like one town. What's, how many towns do you get on a, on a small map if you do low? Three. What if you do very high? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, okay, so, yeah, okay, fair enough. 
Uh, DGX says last time was in was temperate. Was it? Oh, just with the way that the map looks, like a temperate one seems to be very, uh, like land with a river, and the tropical one seems to be very watery with lagoons. And and I this is how I feel like it was. I'm pretty sure it was tropical egg. I think you might be mistaken. Okay, we're going to end the vote shortly, but we've set it to large. We've got town set. We'll put it back to high. We'll leave it on default. Are you, I'm, should we leave all the other things? Um, this is We're going to shout it out in chat for the, these generator settings. Shall we leave islands and forests and so forth? And Oh, I see. So you can have a massive mainland. Oh, okay. And then... Or, or no mainland, and then you can have is that number of islands or size of islands. That appears to be potentially number of islands. What if I turn... Oh, that's forest. I'm doing the wrong one. Hang on. Right, we'll leave forest in the middle, but I'm going to play around with it. Oh, yeah, that's that appears to be potentially size of islands. They, they look quite big there, didn't they? Oh, wow. They are tiny on that one. Okay, well, we're not going to do anything that crazy it might well be that we leave it in the middle what happens if we have it in the middle but we turn islands all the way up okay islands all the way down that's no islands right okay so if we turn islands all the way up and mainland down just like one notch what does that look like oh look at that Oh, I think that looks like it's very interesting. One, two, three, four, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's a good number of towns. The only problem with this is it doesn't really lend itself to railways very well. Um, because this mainland has only really got three towns on it that you can connect. Although you've got the industries too. Hmm. Okay. Shout out in chat. Let me know what you think about that. I'm going to end the vote for the type of climate now. Oh, tropical one. Fantastic. Okay. So temperate got a vote, dry got a few, and tropical one. So it looks like, if I'm correct, and we did tropical last time, we're actually doing tropical again. Can I get the temperate one to look a little bit more? Yeah. Look, because you don't get islands on the on the temperate one. Michael's here, hey. Yeah, dry lost. Is that what you voted for? Is that what you voted for? I mean, the dry one does look cool, but maybe another series. Maybe another series. I'm liking this kind of um, mainland, not a lot of mainland sort of thing. The only thing is we love our railways, don't we? What if I, t if I turn the island... No, that's forest. If I turn the islands down... All it does is it gets rid of the islands, doesn't it? Do it like this and use rail for larger bulk supply. Okay, let's let's turn... If I turn islands up, do we just... Oh, yeah, that's nice. I like that. If we put the mainland up one notch... There's only five different settings for mainland. See, that is a bit too much mainland potentially okay let's try a different seed okay that's a terrible seed okay let's try a better one that's that's actually not a bad seed um there's a winding bit round here there's a few there's like four on that island. yeah that's not too bad more islands yes we definitely want more. We've got to get this right, folks. We're going to spend our time on getting the map right. Graham likes this one. Graham likes this one. I think I like this one as well. We've got one... Oh, hang on a minute. Why are we doing it like this? I've got the... You know, um, those of you who have been watching my Open TTD series, you'll know that we've got the draw mode for the stream now. I've upgraded draw mode, so the scene automatically switches to and from draw mode. So I can press draw, woof, and we zoom in like this, and then I can draw on it, and my uh, my my camera moves to the corner. So we've got this mainland where we can we've got like 
four cities that we can hook up there. We've got four cities that we can hook up there. And then we've got another two cities that we can hook up there in kind of like a triple of mainland lands. So there is a real good railway potential there. And then in theory, if I go back to any other scene... Oh, that's City Skyline, so that won't work. There we go. Um, Brandon's like, more islands. We can't have more islands. That's maximum islands. Michael says, go for it. You know what? I, You know what? I want to see if the capitalization of Hellish changes anything. It does. It completely messes up our plans. Let's put it back. Capital H for Hellish. There we go. You know what we should have done? We should have spun a viewer plus subscriber and got their next... You know what? We'll do it. We'll spin for a viewer plus subscriber and see what map type their name brings out. And maybe we'll play their map. And I'll give you the options between the two. There'll be the hellish map and there'll be the sub map. So I'm going to spin on a random viewer plus subscriber who's currently in live chat. So if you're a viewer plus subscriber and you haven't chatted yet, you won't come up on the wheel. Uh, let's find out. But we'll get to decide between the two. Okay, so here we go, folks. These are the names of the Viewer Plus subscribers. Viewer Plus is the best way to support me. We don't do Twitch bits. We don't do um, super chats or, or, or special... It's, it's just Viewer Plus. Checks so kid. Also, boats. <laughs> Checks so kid putting that full stop in chat just to make sure that they got counted. But there we go. So um, if we go back to Transport Fever 2... I'm going to put your name in there, and we'll see what map you generate. Oh, and then we'll go to draw mode and have a closer look. Okay, so Chexo Kids is actually quite nice. We've got this island here, and it's got three towns we can hook up, maybe with a bridge a fourth. Then we've got this central island, and it's got... One, two, three, four towns we can hook up. Again, maybe with a bridge, a fifth. But also with a bridge, maybe we can connect that bit up as well. Oh, wow. We have the potential here for quite an interesting rail network. Hmm. Look, and even with a little kind of maybe a bridge here. I mean, going, we'd have to go across the hillsides there. Oh, I like that, says Brandon. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to give chat the choice. We're going to do another quick vote, and this is going to be the final thing before we start, okay? So the question is, which? Um, which one? I don't know if I spelt which correctly. Right, this is going to be a very quick vote, okay? So, um, and apparently it looks good for boats as well. So I'm going to start the vote now. Get in there, vote quickly, okay? Because I'm going to end the votes very soon. And uh, once we've got about at least five people voted, I will end the voting. We'll also do a giveaway this live stream. I can see the vote has been shouted out in the Twitch chat, which is fantastic. And it's been shouted out in the YouTube chat. Wow, it's nice when these sorts of things work. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, chat. I'm just going to end the vote there because. Fantastic. Seven to nil. Chegso Kid absolutely wins by a country mile. Fantastic that. I mean, I have to agree. It's an interesting map. Seven zero. The way our voting system works, it doesn't show the options that didn't get any votes at all. Um, so if anybody abstains, it tells you. Uh, and if and if the other options get voted for, um, it tells you. But there we go. Wow. Right, we're, we're doing it then. This is the map. You guys picked Tropical. I played around with the settings. You guys chose between the two maps. This, by the way, is very much going to be your fault. <laughs> and today's giveaway is going to be... Um, let's do something I recognize shall we let's let's cherry pick one a special one for the beginning of the series let's cherry pick you know i'm not sure actually i uh, know i'm gonna go random i'm gonna pick a random one 
and we'll see what game we're going to give away. The oh, right, okay. I I wonder what that one is. Hyper Gun Sports. That is today's giveaway. If you want to be within the chance of winning it, head over to the portal. And we're going to click next. Right. Oh no, we've got to choose our vehicle set. Right, we're going to use the start. Uh, leave the starting year as it is. I'm going to check. I'm not going to keep it on easy. I'm going to say medium or hard. I'm going to let you guys vote for. The right. Okay. We Sorry, I didn't realise with that. We're going to choose the vehicle set now, and I'm going to get again. We'll do the voting, but we'll keep it snappy. So get yourself on the portal and get ready. So we're going to have E for Europe, U for USA, and A for Asia. The vote is up. I might have spelt vehicle wrong. So get over to the portal. Vote. We've got one come in for Europe already. In fact, it's one all at the minute. We've got one vote for each one. Oh, a couple more votes are coming in. It's even at the minute. We've got a tie. There's a bit of a tie going on. One more vote's coming in there. If one more vote comes in and it's not a tie, I'm going to announce the winner. And the winner is... There we go. Fantastic. Europe with five votes compared to two for the other two. And difficulty... Should we go with medium or hard? Uh, right, medium or hard. I'm not going to go with very hard because I want to be able to have a little flexibility in terms of being able to have fun with it. And I do want some challenge, so we're not going to go for easy either. So, again, a very quick vote. We're putting it up there. There we are. Hi, Bob. Hey. Hello. Ah, do you have pie? Dave here as well. Hey, Dave to Bob. Welcome welcome back let's see okay so the difficulty wow the votes have flooded in oh fantastic six zero to medium you guys obviously don't want me to have too much of a challenge you want me to be able to be diverse with what i do the other game options we're going to leave um default and we're going to start the game there we go The options spell out Master Hellish. What? No, they don't. Oh, MH, Master Hellish. Oh. <laughs> I like that. That's a good one, Brandon. I feel like I'm forgetting to tell you guys something. Like there's something happening. Or oh, there is something. Monthly giveaways will be out soon, but they're not out yet. So hopefully they'll be ready for you guys to um, to enter the monthly giveaways starting sometime uh, at the beginning of next week. Although I don't think that was what I wanted to tell you. I completely can't remember. Pally Wally, welcome. Howdy. Tinman's here as well. We've got a few people popping in. You've all just missed map choosing and creation, but here we are. I'm going to pause the game. It's January the 3rd, 1850, and we have $5 million in the bank account, and it's all loan, of course. And this is our world. Here we go, look at this. Interesting little world, this. So, we've got some tips. I don't want tips, thank you. So this is our kind of West Island. Oh, we can give them names. This is the West Island. Um, there is a massive hill between this town and the uh, the other towns down here. Although there are three coal mines right next to each other there, so that's kind of screaming something out to me. Um, and then you've got this kind of land bridge opportunity. Um... Oh, we, already, we, we already have some passenger bridges on some of these. Oh, wow, look at that for a bridge. Passenger, I meant road. That is a big... I don't think I've ever seen such a big natural road bridge in Transport Fever. It's huge. So this is... The, the, the mainland is kind of split up into three sections. Okay, we've got this kind of west bit over here. Uh, then we've got the eastern side, 
which, uh, which is mainly this bit of mainland here, I think. It's basically west and east, isn't it? I suppose this could this be considered mainland as well? It's got two towns on it. I suppose if you look at it from this orientation, you've got your uh, kind of western group, your central group, and then your kind of eastern group. Yeah, I think I like looking at it like that. Uh, so what are we going to start with? Well, we need a money maker. Those three coal mines are shouting out at me as something to do. I guess we ought to try and grow towns. And I can't remember what you need for town growth. I don't know if you just need to supply the town with the um, things that it needs. Well, here we go. This tells us. So, the target population at the moment, plus 10%, is 167. What's the current population? 164. Dave said, never play Transport Fever. Inst interested to see how it compares to Open TTD. It, it's very similar. It is very similar. So, I think if we put roots in, it gives bonuses. Um, yeah. So we, we... If we transport passengers around the town, I think it gives us a bonus to growth. Does the Dell key work in this game as well? Oh, yes, it does. Okay, right. So over on the, uh, on the Westlands, we've got a lot of coal... Um, and the thing that uses coal is the steel mill. But that requires iron ore. And I'm not seeing really any iron ore over here. We need to start out with something easy and profitable. And then we can use that profitable stuff to build other things. Let's have a look on the... Um, on the eastern islands eastern not easter before anybody says anything uh we've got some iron ore not a massive amount maybe we should work on some oil because oil's pretty straightforward i would expect it pays quite well although i'm not seeing any oil wells oh look uxbridge i think i've been there can we change the town names we can change the town names. Oh, we're so naming them after viewer plus subscribers. You can't start a transport game without coal, I guess. I suppose. Uh, let's have a look up here. Oh, look at this. How many farms? One, two, three, four, five farms all in the same area. And a food processing plant right there. How can we not start with that? Then we can distribute food around the world by boat. Uh, let's have a look over on the east. No, not much there. In the centre, we've got two farms and food processing, but then there isn't a town that accepts it. Oh, look. Here we've got one, two, three, three lots of... Oh, no. Four lots of iron ore and one, two coal, three coal, sorry. And on top of that, we've got a steel mill that accepts both of them. This is a better place to work it. That is, can we, there's nowhere we can put labels in, is there? So this is, this is the farming land where we're going to make all our food and then we'll have to figure out how we're going to distribute that food everywhere. Um... And then we can make, we can make, what is it we make? It, we can make the steel. We can make steel here. This is our steel production zone. Five farms and a food processor. You can't resist that. 
I might be able to because we've got all these coal mines and iron ore mines around this steel mill. Um, and then up here you've got the thing that the steel mill goes into. It produces the the cogs, the machine. Is it machines? But in order to do that, we'll need planks. So. What, what's that? That's a forest. Oh, look at all this oil! We've got loads of... Oh my goodness, there's more iron ore mines down here. Wow! And another coal mine! This is ridiculous! This map is crazy! Oh, we're going to have so much fun with this. Isn't there a cargo profit graph? I don't know, Tinman, but I've just realised that something won't produce unless it's going somewhere. So, we're going to need to actually hook things together to get it to go somewhere. Can't remember where the oil goes. Where does oil go? Um... My brain's just fogged up, and I can't remember where oil... Oh my, look at this! On this one, we've got one, two, three forests, and a sawmill. It's like the forest island. Okay. Hmm, this is important, by the way. Check so kids like, you're welcome. <laughs> okay, so up here, there's a sawmill. So if we want to make the central island here into our um, machines manufacturing zone, we're going to need to bring um, we're going to need to bring some planks into this area here, and to get planks, oh my goodness, it's, there's there is some up here. Oh, what do we start with? I am panicking. Right, okay. I think I've figured out what I'm doing, right? We're not going to do this area because even though we've got all of these mines, look at all these mines around here, that can all go into this particular industry, even though we've got all... Hang on, I just remembered something. This drawing tool thing has the ability to make lines. So I can go like this. So all of these all of these mines can go in here. There's loads of them. Absolutely loads of them. We would have to then distribute the output up to here. And this one would need the planks coming in. So we'd have to get planks probably from up here. Um, and then get the wood coming in from those nearby places just to be able to get the machine parts. And then the machine parts would have to go over here to this town. So there is a lot involved in that, right? Which sounds fantastic and I think we should do it. It's just not, it's just a big thing to start with. Whereas, over here with the farmland, right? It's a different story. Because you've got these farms where all of them just go straight into one industry. And then that industry goes straight to towns. And there's not, there's not just one, there's two that require it right there. So I think this is where we start. I think that's where we start. The uh, There are some other good options and we're going to have some fantastic networks. We really are. Um, you're still downloading it? I mean, this is going to be... I thought this was going to be a good production. I mean, there's stone here as well for creating the uh, construction materials. It's blowing my mind already. I need a drink.
Okay. Chexo Kid says, can do the that on the other island where the iron ore was farm the food at the top, then take it to Shelburne. Um Let's have a look at this one. Nah. Oh, the food. Yeah, the food can come down here as well. The food can just be distributed everywhere by boat to begin with, I think. Anyway, we're going to do this. We're going to we're going to start with good old food because we like the food. Now, this is all close enough together. What do we think about the music volume? Is it okay for you guys? I feel like I'm shouting over it slightly. I know it is good music. Just notch it down one for now. Okay, so looking at this, I feel like we just need to do a little bit of road connecting. And then that's it. Now the, the hardest bit is going to be this food processing plant. Um, because we're going to end up with a lot of stuff at it but there is a bit of a gap near it so let's have a look at that okay so can I let's have a look at our roads we are going to start with roads with streets so if I put yeah look if I put a road here you can see there's a connection there so there is a connection to the industry and there's a connection to the industry there. What about round the back? Any oh, there are connections to industry, the industry there. The reason why I was checking that is because I want to use this area here as kind of like the drop-off and delivery zone. So, let's see. Can I do a relatively straight road here? We've got any sort of snapping. What we got here? Curved roads, upgrade, tools for bits, waypoints, buildings, and streets. Okay. No. All right. It's fine. Eyeballing this bit is fine. Let's have a look. Yep, that looks okay to me. That's not okay, that's wonky. Okay, so we've got a road that goes all the way around. We can get rid of the extra bits. There we go. So now, if we connect a road or a, or a bus depot to, let's go, a truck station, for example. I'll rotate it, how do I, there we go. Then it's going to connect directly to the industry from there. See those little yellow lines? The yellow bits and the blue bits? That's where it's connecting. Tinman says there's nothing wrong with a little wonk. So I want to start with a truck station and I want to make sure that we have it kind of probably in the middle here. Um, but I want to be able to make it really big and good flow. So let's just... Uh, how do I do smaller... Is it holding shift? Yes. Okay, so that looks like it's in line. So I'm going to try and get it roughly in the middle. Now, one of the main differences between Transport Fever 1 and Transport Fever 2 is the ability to have uh, modular stations. So this you can configure these and expand them. So we're going to start by expanding right away. So we're going to expand this so the cargo is wider. That'll do. Uh, and that'll do for now. We'll get a street access over here. And we'll upgrade this later. This is one of the reasons why I'm doing it like this. I'm doing it so it can be upgraded later. So, if I build off this, it's a bit rubbish. It's a 
bit close. Uh, it'll, it'll be okay. That's fine. Let's try and keep it relatively straight, though. What will we allow for money? We're okay for money for now. So the idea here is I'm going to be creating a, a bit of a hub. And I want it to be a good one. Right, how's that look? Is that a bit wonky? If it's a slightly... We've got to remember, this isn't City Skyline, so we haven't got a Move It mod. There we go. Checks out kids, I, I found last time I played food was a good idea to have one way in and one way out so they don't block each other. Yes. We'll be doing something like that. At the beginning, I'm not going to worry so much, and then we'll upgrade it later. So, we've got to get some food in, and I want to get some direct routes um, planned in. So most of the food will be coming... Actually, let's let's do a little bit of planning again. Seeing as we've got the ability to do it. Okay, there we go. So most of the food will be... Uh, well, all the food needs to come in here. Okay, that's where it's coming from. We've got a farm here, here, here... Wow, look at all these farms. All those farms there. Oh, and another one there. Right. Now, looking at the road network, ideally you want, like, the shortest distance so that you can go direct. And the most the, the most direct thing to do would be just to put a road from each one straight in. Um, so you've got a dedicated straight road. We're not going to do that. That's a little bit overkill. But I can see some kind of links that can be made. So if we join up this bit of road and that bit of road, that gives a route here. And if we join up these two bits of road, that also gives a bit of route through. This one's already got a bit of a route in the right direction. And then if we join up that road here, then that then connects those two. This one's already got a route in via this one. So it's going past that one. I don't really want it to go all the way around. I want it to be a bit more direct. So maybe we do a road here and connect it in there. So I'm trying to minimize the journey distance, but also minimize the amount of roads we're adding because money. And also, I think it'll look nice. Okay, let's do that now. We're going to start with the most basic of roads. So we'll put a nice diagonal road in like that. That's 40 grand. We'll connect these two points up. Ah, oh, fields are going to be removed. Didn't think about fields. Okay, let's do this one. That's okay. So then we've just got this link through here and the fields. Oh, I didn't think about the fields. Okay. I don't know what to do. Do the fields affect the farm's output? I don't know, Graham. I'm kind of thinking at the minute we go through this gap. And then just leave it like that. Go beside the beach. Yeah, we could we could do we could go beach way. Go south between the fields. I mean, both the south between the fields would be quite a long way around. I think we're going to have to go beach way. And the south between the fields, like what I've got there, will be a 40 grand easy to do. But can I even get I, can I even get a road in between the beach and the no. I, I can't. Uh, maybe I could get a bridge. We could we could put a bridge over there. I think we're going to go south and do some upgrades later. 
There we go. So actually, we're, we're all hooked up now, but what I want to do is get a shortcut in. Um, so from here, we're going to put a, short, a couple of shortcuts in. We're going to put one shortcut to there, and then another one to there. And I think that will do. There we go. That is slightly disappointing. Um, also, can I get... Mm, no, that's it. Right then. Buildings. So we need a truck station next to these industries. So... Um, this truck station here would actually serve both of these. Can I get a truck station between these two farms and do both? Oh, I can. Look. Both farms can be served by the same truck station. That's good. Okay, we're going to do that. Put the truck station as far away from the road as possible. A little bit of alignment. There we go. So there's that one. And then... Can we do the same here? Oh yes, by like a pixel. Okay, let's try and see if... The only problem is, if I do that, I won't be able to expand it. There's no room. <laughs> Catchment cheese never quite disappears. Yeah. Ugh. You missed one of the farms. What? I did. I did. Did I? I did. I don't know why it didn't go in. Let's do it again. Okay, for some reason it's fine now. There we go. Fixed it. Right. Uh... Yeah, we're going to do the same here. I'm not happy. We might have to move this later because the size and that oil station thing being in the way. So then that is those two and those. So it's just these two now. Can we get these two with one? We can! Huzzah! Oh, and we can get it on the end of this road as well. Oh, that's cute. Right, okay. Was that both of them? There we go. So we've actually got all six just from uh, three stations. Nice. Okay. Um, I don't feel the need to do any upgrades just right now. Let's get our truck depot thing out. So our road depot. We'll put the road depot somewhere near over here. Well, no, actually, should we just put it near the middle of the map? Near the middle of the island? Like in this triangle? Because I don't see any reason for it being in a town or anything. There we go. Okay. So now we need depots in the towns to drop off. And if I remember correctly, for drop off you can use a truck unload stop. A small truck stop to unload cargo to be placed on the sidewalk uh, does not allow for loading. Now the advantages of this is it's smaller. I think it's probably cheaper. It's easier to fit in the city. But, um, yeah, we can't do anything else. Graham says it does look like a quite a decent improvement over Transport Fever 1. It is. Especially with the modular stations. To me, that was modular stations, not at the very beginning. I can't remember. In any case, um, let's get these truck stops in. So whilst we've got the truck stop selected, you can see that the area of the town that needs the produce is highlighted. So if the town's going to continue to grow out in this direction, I want to put the truck stop as far away. Well, actually, it's you know, there's a little bit down there as well. I might just put it in the middle of town. Yeah, we're just going to put it there for now, for that one. And this one is kind of like on this side of town. Ah, there we go. So the trucks that are delivering will come down one road and come back out the other. 
this one needs like a loop um, bit connecting. So let's put a bit of standard street in here. Yeah, there we go. So the trucks can turn around quite nicely. Um, there we go. Yeah, I know there was no modular stations in Transport Fever 1, but I was trying to remember if modular stations were an update in Transport Fever 2 or whether they came in Transport Fever 2. I've got a funny feeling they were an update. Uh, okay, well, there we go. We can get the lines in now. So we're going to have a new line. We're going to have the new line. We're going to go from here. No, we're not going to go there twice. Uh, to here and then back again. That's it. Then we're going to have another line going from this one to there and back again. And then another line going from this one to there and back again. And I want them all to be the same colour just to give me a nightmare of a time sorting things out. We need to name the uh, the towns as well. And then we need two more lines. We need one line coming from here to there as a drop off. And then we need another line coming from here to there as a drop off. And the drop off lines, I, I guess they could both be red. I, I, no, maybe blue. Oh yeah, blue. And and the orange ones, I want to be red now. There we go. That's the wrong red. There we go. Sorted. So now we need to add vehicles to those lines, and we need to make sure we don't run out of money. So. What's this one? Vehicle manager. Line one. Buy vehicle. Why can't I buy vehicles? Do I have to click on the road depot? Okay. Buy vehicles. This is where we... You missed a farm on the island. Really? Oh, there's a farm over here. Oh, do you think we should connect that one up as well, Michael? It's a little bit far away, isn't it? Yeah, every, everybody's saying do it. All right, fine, I'll do it. There we go. So there's the extra little depot. Um, we need another new line. Line six it's going to be. It's going to be another red one. We'll rename them at some point. But for now, that'll be fine. Right, let's buy vehicles then. We need cargo. This can pull... What cargo can it pull? I don't know. Loading speed, one. Capacity, four. Oh, is that terrible? I know. Right, how many should we start with? Well, they're 23 grand each. So then, can I, what's that one? Sign to line one. Okay. Then assign to line two. Line three. Line six. Line four. And line five. There we are. They've all got one now. Horse and cart, that's not very trainy. I know. Back to the steam age. I mean, this is the steam age. Horses and carts are steam age. I never said there was going to be steam. I said it's the steam age. The steam age. Brandon. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. The only thing that I want to do is do the renaming. So what we'll do is we will rename one of the towns right now after one of the viewer plus subscribers 
and then we'll rename the lines. Okay, so let's get the wheel out and we're going to spin the wheel. Should we spin it on people in chat? I think so. Why not, eh? So we'll spin it on people in chat. Let's go over to the main cam because that's where we see it. We need some steam trains. There's gonna be, there's gonna be steam trains. This is our money maker. This is our old reliable. This is our starting off gentle. Party piggy. Party piggy. So the first town in our game is going to be named after Party Piggy. Just waiting for that to pop, it pop up on my screen so that I can pop it into the game. I'm pretty sure you can name the towns. I mean, it's got to be called Party Town, right? Party town. <laughs> pig food town suits the theme. Uh, there's no pigs though. There's no pigs. Uh, I mean, if anybody comes up with a better idea than party town, we'll do it. But for now, for now, it's going to be party town. Uh, the reason why I wanted to do that, because then the lines get renamed. So, the name of the line for line one. Oh, hang on. It's gonna be it's gonna be Bingley food. Oh, we're gonna to have to rename Bingley as well. Should we do a second one? Let's go for it. We're doing a second one. And then soon after that we'll announce the winner of the game giveaway. Here we are, we're getting two in one live stream here, folks. Normally we only do this once a live stream. Oh, Brandon. There you go, Brandon. You got it. You're in. Your name's in the game. So I, I don't know what you would call this town. Following on from Brandonville. Actually, Brand Brandonville's probably a good one, isn't it? I kind of like Brandonville. It is a nice coastal town. In fact, you are going to be supplying food to the entire world, probably. Is that how you spell Ville? Yeah, you've got a coast on both sides. <laughs> More than just an office. <laughs> oh, yeah, I love it. That's fantastic. Okay, so. Now I can rename the lines. Because... The way that we do it, I use uh, I use a letter denomination. So this is going to be Brandon in the sea. I mean, it's not exactly in the sea. Brandon Brandonville next the sea, maybe. Hey. Okay. Oh my goodness, I'm getting so many notifications, but I think it's just my family talking to each other. So that's fine. <laughs> Um, that means that Bingley West is actually going to be called Brandon West. There we go. So this is going to be just Brandon Food. Or Bra Food. Oh, hang on. This is the farm, isn't it? What does the farm produce? Wheat. Grain. So this is bra bra -ger. Oh my goodness. Bra no not bra 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 Oh yeah it is bra. It's bra G one. And then bra G two. And then this one line for the food. This is bra food. 
but it's only bra food because we then have party town here par par f for food um bra grain 3 and grain four. There we go. Bra G sounds like a wheeler, de wheeler, de weed dealer. I thought you were going to say wheeler dealer. Seaside Brandonville. It is pri private jets incoming. <laughs> there we go. Right, so from what I understand, everything is all nicely set up. The only thing that I'm going to go in and do is just do some um, some road cloning. Uh, not road cloning, vehicle cloning. So actually, let's just clone all road vehicles. Because we're going to need at least two. Okay, how much was that? I didn't see, but we, we've spent a million uh in total let's do it one more time there we go so now we've got three road vehicles per station now most of these stations are doubled up but one of them's further away i will see how it goes we're ready to unpause i think we are here we go Oh, I took a screenshot. Okay, that's weird. That's, I thought I'd go into a camera mode then, but I didn't. Here we go then, folks. Out they come. Go make money. And whilst those are just coming out, I'm just double check there's nothing important on my messages. Off to make money, that's right. Okay. Yeah, my, my WhatsApp's gone absolutely crazy. Okay, nothing important. Good. Well, we got a tip. In addition to pause mode, there's three game speeds. Okay, that's fine. They're going for it, those horses. Or oh, they're costing us an absolute fortune. Well, some of them are about halfway to the uh, to Brandon West, the pickup point, and there is already a lot of grain weight. Oh my goodness, that's so much grain! Forty-seven grain. The station's overloaded. I think we need more vehicles. Okay, I just doubled our vehicles. Shall I triple the vehicles? Should we go crazy and triple the vehicles? I'll tell you what we do need to do. We need to end that giveaway. More grain for the birds. Exactly. Let's end that giveaway and find out who won it. And on the Fantastic. winner is... Untraceable Smurf. Congratulations. You are the winner of Hyper Gunsport. Uh, the uh, the game prize will be sent to your email address that you registered with on the website. Congratulations! Wow, uh, we've actually got quite a lot of road vehicles moving around here now. Now, the first horse and carts are making their way to, uh, to the first location. That one's already minus 600. Eek. Um, they are actually the first ones to arrive as well. And th these places won't have any more than a certain amount of grain waiting for them anyway. 
because they can't store that much. Oh yeah, let's see, this one's loading up. Did I tell it to full load on the line? Okay, look here, these loads here, these orders, that's that should be... Um, full load. There we go. As should these ones as well. There we go. Yeah, I mean, there's there's double catchment on all three of them. I mean, even the one that isn't double catchment is maxed out. So I've got a funny feeling we're going to need more road vehicles. Um... Also, we haven't designated what platform. We haven't designated platforms. Right, I'm pausing because we want one for loading and we want one for unloading, and we we want to be very clear about that. So, actually, we need more. We need more platforms here. Configure cargo. Bump, bump, bump. Here we go. We're going for it, folks. The reconfiguration is real. So I can't remember which way round the street access goes, but we'll have a look and work it out in a second. So, um, manage the line. So at Brandon West, they're currently on Terminal 3. So if we tell them to go to Terminal 1, I like the look at that. And for this one, if we tell them to go to Terminal 2... Oh, they are at Terminal 2. I don't see them. Can I hide the other lines? Um, I'm not sure what to do. Okay, let's fix the other lines up. If we say when they come to Brandon West, they want to be on Platform 6, or Terminal 6, Terminal 5, Terminal 4, and Terminal 3. Does that work? Kind of. That blue line needs to come from the back, so we need to put a waypoint in. So, waypoints. There we go. So if we put a waypoint in there, go back to the line, and for this one, we're going to add a new station before Brandon West, and it's going to be the waypoint. No, no, before. Oh no. Right, how do I. Can you reorder these by dragging? Hmm. Okay, what if, we, what if we put it afterwards then? Yes, there we go. We'll put it afterwards. So then it goes back round to the top. There you are, look! Ooh, I'm not sure I like that. When stations are longer, they can hold more cargo. That is very true. Very true indeed. I feel like separating these middle bits out a little bit. So if we just come out of this and we just re. Uh, not manage vehicles, sorry. We configure this and add one more cargo platform to this end. And then another um, one to that end. And we'll just move the inside ones outwards. So this one that's coming in to Brandon West Terminal 3, go to 1. Yeah, I think that's okay. Would these be better if it was completely the opposite way around? 
No, the waypoint isn't pointing in the wrong direction. Like, because the blue ones want to go up, they want to come in this side. Oh, they want to come in this side. They do want to come in this side. Can I get an extra inroad? Hmm, I'm not sure. Okay, hang on a second. Uh, is it this one? Brandon West Terminal 4. Terminal A? There we go. So there's a lot of crossing over here. That's the problem. I'm not sure why they're not coming out here. That wants to be an out. Okay, let's let's fix that. Okay, so bulldoze. That's an out. That's an in. Okay, let's do street access. Out. In. Okay, how's that mess things up? Oh, it's messed it up quite badly. <laughs> oh, top left in bottom left out for the blue line uh, I mean yeah this this wants to be in here doesn't it okay let's try a bit more configuring so this is an entrance it won't let me apparently oh we can do it there exit there okay how is that looking now on the lines still I mean I think it's because we've got these. So let's configure and get rid of them. There we go. Problem solved now, right? Actually, yes. That's very good. For the most part. The red one is coming in here still. And we only want them to come in there. <laughs> it's a good quote from my redstone skills, says Brandon. Yeah. Some of it's working really good, some of it isn't. So the both both blues want to be coming in here. Oh, we can just use a waypoint on the ins, can't we? Uh, waypoint, here we go. Oh, we can't put them there? Ugh. Okay, let's put them there. And let's, let's delete that one, because we don't need that one now. All right, let's fix up our lines and see if that makes a difference. So for both of the blue ones, before going into Brandon West, we want them to go past this waypoint. I don't think this one... Oh, hang on. No, wait, that one's doing it naturally fine anyway. And then for some of the red ones... Looks like there's only one of them. Before going into Brandon West, I want them to go past that waypoint. Okay, that looks good. There are some of them that are using the wrong exit, though. And actually, that blue one's using the wrong exit as well. Ugh. Okay, we can fix that too. So, let's try that. So one of these blue ones, I think it's the one going down over here, is using the wrong exit. So after Brandonville West, we want to go past this one. Yes, that fixed that exit, that's good. Then we've got a couple of these that have been a bit weird. That's the one that's been weird there. Spaghetti. Yes, I know. This entrance over here also, the entrances need to be in the middle. Otherwise, we get blockages. So, I will need to configure that as well. So... The entrance needs to be here and there. Think that's right. Entrance near the middle, exit on the exit there, on, on the outside. 
That's better. It's not great, though. Okay. Uh, I want the entrance over here. Can... Oh, no. We don't want to delete the whole thing. Can I add entrance and exits when there isn't a piece of road there? Let's have a look. Breaking it. We've got to get this right. We've got to get this right, folks. It's important. Let's move this road. Right. Oh, this is not going to go well. Also, the roads are going to get wider. Oh, I didn't think of that. Okay, never mind. Not the best, is it? It's close. Okay, let's try and get the entrances and exits in now. So we should have an entrance here and here. Yes! And then exits on the outside that way and outside that way. Oh, that's so much better. There we go. We'll have to remember that in future. To do that bit first. Uh, let's bulldoze this piece of road just because and actually that bit so then we can match these up here uh, get a nice junction in there fantastic right now what does it look like Okay, remember we removed the waypoints though, so I wouldn't expect it to be great. Uh, I almost feel like we should be doing the platforms on the other side. But this is the blue entrance here, this is. This is the red entrance, so let's get those waypoints in again. I think, I think this is going to fix it. I think this is going to fix it, and that's going to be the exit there, and that's going to be an exit there. That should do it. Let's see then. So, before we go into Brandon West, hang on a minute, let's do these ones. That one is actually correct. Spot on, actually, I think. No, it isn't. He wants to be going past there. Okay. There we go. That's a long name for a waypoint. Brandonville, Brandon... Who is a Brandon waypoint number two? Now, I don't need to change the colour of lines. But I think we're good on that one. And now I think it's just the red ones that need sorting out. So before Brandon West, there we go. Before Brandon West, no, not twice, just once. Um, that's right, and this one. We've got one red line leaving the wrong way. So... Let's do... Before Lower Bingley. Oh, wow. What? Oh, no, before Lower Bingley. Okay. I keep thinking it adds it in like it does in Open TTD, but it doesn't. There we go. That's one of them. And there's the other one. That's going to be the same as well. There we go. It's a little bit of a crossover. One of them is looping round in a crazy way. 
is it to do with the platforms? Oh yes, they're assigned to the wrong platforms. Okay, that wants to be platform five. There we go. Oh, they all loop round on themselves to go out? Oh, that's horrible. Apart from the very end one. Oh, we need exits. We have to have exits there as well then. That stops most of the looping. Not all of the looping though. Ah, why aren't these stations like nice? <laughs> oh dear. Put the exits on the upper left and bottom right. It uh, Tim, and it only works for half of the station. I've had an idea. And I hope you don't hate me for this. But we'll just get rid of the station. I'm sorry. And if I put a new one in, right at the very end, Also more in the middle. We can then have them all come in in the same way and leaving the same way. Okay. And I don't think it's going to mess up all the orders. So, I've just realised that it's going to be get longer. Did I just lose some road vehicles? I hope I didn't. So we're actually going to have only a one-sided station. I think I just lost some road vehicles, didn't I? Hello, everybody. Oh, no. But at least now I can get, I'll get a proper gap in here. And they can all come in one side and all go out the other. I don't care. It's going to just be amazing. I don't know how many we need. Looks like they got moved to the closest road. I hope so. Would somebody be able to go and double check that for me, please? And actually just go and have a little look to make sure. So then if we just go, like, let's get rid of that bit of road there. Right. Let's do it like this. Okay. Entrance and... En no, no, these all flow down, don't they? That road's a little too wonky as well. It's going to be good. This is going to be good the first time. I don't think they get, did get... Look, I'm getting money back for them. Oh, I really hope that they're going to be...
That's annoying if now we've lost some road vehicles. Because <sighs> I won't know exactly which one they were assigned to and everything. And it will annoy me because I want it to be even and I want it to be good. Right, entrance, 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 entrance. Exit, 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 mostly exits. That, that's bad. I'm getting the money back from the roads. Oh, let, let's check the vehicle list then. The entire vehicle list is still 36 vehicles. Okay, so maybe they went back to depot. Maybe they did get teleported somewhere else nearby. But you're right. They're still there. There we go. Isn't that much better? Should have just done this first. So when you're building a station, don't build all the, build all the roads. Build the entrances and exits. Then come back with your roads afterwards and join them up. The only problem is, is you have to place the station vehicle in the way. Well, it didn't stop you before, did it? Oh well, we... I don't know what we're going to do about that. Is it because the vehicle just can't go anywhere? Right, well remember this for the future folks, put your depot in with a little tiny piece of road, delete the tiny little piece of road, sort everything else you want to sort out, then put your road in afterwards, because in Transport Fever that apparently is the best way of doing it. In theory upgrading these roads later shouldn't be too bad either if we want to. I guess we can connect this it's because the vehicle would be left um, yeah no road attached to it so now all the land all the lines have gone wrong but that's fine because they're all going to terminal one but then if we just change them to two uh, actually let's have the the ones that are coming from that side go that one so this is going to be platform one that's going to be platform i'm going to say platform then this one's going to be four this one's going to be three maybe oh i don't like the look of that one um Where's that one going? That one's going in there as well. Okay, and then this one can be, I mean, we could put it at the, at the very, oh, I did the wrong end on that. Yeah. That wants to be one. That wants to be one. That wants to be two. There we go, there we are. Then we can do three, four, and five, and six. Oh, that's starting to bet. Yeah, the red line's a second stop. There we go. Now, the only thing is, is I don't like the way that that's working there. So that this blue one over here, we're going to change it to platform 10. And this one, we're going to change to platform 1. 
I'm going to make the other ones go around it. So this one's going to be two, and that one's going to be three. Now the only thing is, is that they are just shortcutting, aren't they? Oh, actually, these two we could move, couldn't we? We could be nine and eight. Look at this is how I want it. How simple is that? I mean, here they're taking shortcuts. Want them to take shortcuts. I will force them not to take shortcuts with waypoints if I have to. Like this. Uh, so, before going into Brandon West, or before going into Brandon West, at this waypoint, there we go. And this one, before going into Brandon West, going to that waypoint, there you go. I mean, they come out pretty wonky. I'll fix that as well, shall I? So we're just using waypoints around here to fix the flow a little bit. So on the way out this one, it wants to go past this waypoint after Brandon West. That was wrong. Oh, I keep forgetting it adds them after to the order, not before, like OpenTTD. That is a big difference. Okay, it's a bit, there we go. Oh, look at that, folks. Oh, it's a thing of beauty. <laughs> One hour and three million years later, we have a station. We have a station, folks. We actually have a station. There we go. And all the road vehicles are moving around. And this station should be fine for the future as well. We've got extra we've got extra platforms for adding extra extra stops. And we can add extra road infrastructure around if we want to as well. Look at that. That's what I wanted to begin with. Hey, eh? There we go. Have we got our first deliveries coming in yet? Oh, it looks like we have. Here's our... No, it's not our first delivery. That's our first loading wagon. That's a loading wagon. That's a loading wagon. That's a loading wagon. We've not got any deliveries. Things aren't going good. Not none of these are a delivery. That's a delivery. Oh come on, we have to have a delivery. Loading, loading, loading. Right, here we go, folks. We're gonna follow our first delivery. I wonder how much money it's gonna make. So we have some, hey, here we go chat. What is the income of this horse and cart going to be once it delivers, eh? Let me know in the chat, what is the income of this cart? Bearing in mind every month, oh my goodness, we've, we've spent four million. How have I spent four million? Oh God. Wow. Uh, $2. <laughs> Brandon says uh, 12k. Um, the beginning of music says 3,200. Dave says 5k. I think this is going to turn in here. Yep, there we go. Yeah, these are costing me 300 and something each a month. Stitch is 5k. I'm going to say 10k. Or oh, 5.6k. 5.6. Well, given rounding, the first person that was correct would have been Tinman. Am I right there? Because I say the first person because above the line came in with a guess of 6 as well. So congratulations, Tinman. Uh, you you get a thousand hellish points. There you go. Oh wow, that pushed you up into second place. 
Now the good news is, is that, oh look here, look we've got food. No we haven't got food. Why haven't we got food? Oh we got one food. So we got a vehicle that thought they were going to pick up food, but didn't. And then we got another vehicle. One station platform cost 25k. Oh yeah, it did, didn't it? I built too big. So we've got a vehicle with one food. Oh, that's not good. Uh... Can I have a smaller time scale, please? Oh, balance. Bank balance. There we go. There's the bank balance. Right. Okay. So I apparently I've made 16 grand. Nice. Did we get another delivery? We did, I think. Did we get some are these Yeah, look, there's another 5 grand there. Oh, we're making some good deliveries now. Oh, this might have actually been a really good plan. It's just taken a little while for it to pay off. Oh, nice. We've still got loads of stuff at the farms. Are these dropping off? Yeah, these guys are dropping off. They're not making massive money. What's the top speed of these? 18 kilometers an hour. Okay. They are very slow. Okay, so the next question is, can I afford to double my vehicles? Yes! I think we just... No, did we? 36... 36.72? That's not double. Or is it? Uh, no. 36... 66... Oh, it is! It is double. Okay. And now we've run out of money. We've, we've gone all in. So if we want to, we can move some um, some horses around to different locations. I don't. Oh, is this our first food cart to been doing a delivery? Oh, we've got two there. So we've got two bits of bread being delivered to that town. Uh, we just just made our delivery over here. We just missed it. That was the one that was empty. Where's the one that wasn't empty? I don't know. It's double. Well, we've got lots of vehicles going now, yeah? We've got our first lot um, coming across the, the relatively long bridge. Minus 3,000. Okay. Uh, the finances table is starting to look a bit better. We've got 60... Our road is at minus 2,000... Oh, it's actually starting to turn around a little bit. Okay. So we don't really uh, count the investments. We don't really care about loan interest. It's this figure. We've just finished our first year. Death Angel says I declare ban bankruptcy. Well, we'll see, Death Angel, because um, we may have spent an absolute load of money, like all of our money, absolutely invested the lot. And last year, it was a lot of negatives, as all of our vehicles were going out to make their journeys for the first time and all that sort of thing. We actually now have some income. And even though we've had some loan interest... 
we're still in the we're still in the blue at the moment. Oh, now we're not. Now we're not. Twenty-one thousand. Should I have started with a shorter run? I haven't got many vehicles sat around at the moment. Production is transport is two percent, so there is plenty to take around. Money is still coming in, and we did only just send a load of vehicles out, so they've got to make their first journey. They have got to make their first journey. So it might be that we don't, the money doesn't start coming in properly just yet. I've just seen the time as well. Let's fast forward a little. Because we doubled our vehicles, didn't we? So all of those vehicles have only just gone out onto the network. And now they're going to start coming in and paying off. I hope that was an income of seven grand from one of the vehicles down there that's good five thousand six there was another seven grand oh that would that would cost a lot of money the loan what we in May the loan interest is is pretty yeah we're, we're speeding up we're going for it we're finding out what's going on I actually got a bit of a backlog here Uh, I'm going to make this line here. I'm not set new line. I'm going to make um, it so it's not full load. It's load if available. Because we've got too many queuing up. Same here. They're spilling out onto the street and causing a traffic jam. Okay, we're halfway through the year. Let's see if the money starts turning around. We're going to need to borrow just a little bit more. To see if we can actually... Oh my god, look at all these vehicles here queuing up to drop off. Now, all the ones we sent out in the second wave, I think, are starting to come in now. Are they, though? Are they going to pay off enough? That one gave us 11 grand. That one gave us 6. Each one of them is 5 grand. That's another 6, another 11. 5. Okay. Are we slowly pulling it back? It's hard to see. It's close, isn't it? It is close. I think the numbers for this year are actually slowly getting better. But we are in November now. And we did just have a large wave of vehicles come through, and that's where we get most of our money coming in, isn't it? When we had that wave. Of course, they'll be spreading out now. And as they spread out, that money coming in will be much more regular. Okay. We'll run it. Oh my... Oh, okay. So, in the first year, it was minus 200,000. In the second year, it was minus 118,000. Let's see if we can push a profit on road income in year three. We went from a relatively good amount of money to minus eight because of the costs, running costs. Thirteen minus twenty-two. Ooh. 
Can you give the lines a platform for when the assigned one is full? Uh, I don't think so, Tinman. Yeah. Michael says, Dead Man Gaming. Ooh, are we calling it? I don't know. I think we might be. I think we might have messed it up. Oh, God. It's, it's, it's difficult. I think it's right on the edge of profitable. So if we can make some tweaks. Like, get some much... Like, put some shortcuts in so that the vehicles can get there quicker. I mean, we can't hear because there's fields in the way. Food is also getting produced. That is... Well, actually, there's a lot of food being produced now. So that's good. The food trucks are going to start making much more money. Um, there's not a lot of food stacking up there yet, though. So maybe we can get some more food. Ah, is there anywhere where we've got too many trucks? Can we divert things? So we haven't got too many trucks there. No. No. I say trucks. They're horse and carts. Okay, so there isn't anywhere where we haven't got too many. I mean, it looks like we're starting to break even. And like you say, food production's coming up. And we could probably spend some more money on some more food trucks. We've got a few bits of food waiting. It says transport 100% though. Does that mean 100% is transported? I'm not, I'm not sure. You can assign alternating platforms. Yeah, that's a good point. Ken, that's a very good point. Um, I think as we get more and more um, food being produced, we might be better off. Although, we was at minus 14. Okay, right. We're going to pause there. We're going to pause there, folks. In the first year, minus 200. In the second year, minus 118. In the third year, minus 14. I wonder if we can do it. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll see. It might be that once the food... I don't need more food uh, food trucks. No, not at the moment. I certainly don't. It, would, it might be best if they full load. But now they've spread out. Maybe it would be good if they did. So we'll see. We'll see if we can save this next time. If we can't, then maybe I need to think of a different plan and not spend four million on a really big, fun station. But if we can turn this around, this is going to be absolutely fantastic. Uh, but for now, like I said, we're going to leave it there. Remember, you'll get your dose of Factorio at the weekend, and I will see you Monday and Tuesday for two more live streams. But that's going to be all from me for now. Thank you very much, everybody. Take care, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Goodbye, everyone. See you next time.